Now it's time to chill to this week's video. Yo, Mark. <laughs> 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 hey, ain't that Rick McCrank over there? And Ed T. Ain't that Bob Burnquist? Who's that man? Who cares? They suck. This is Innsbruck's Alp Challenge Part 2. Cameras ready? Okay, cue the skating. Scratch my head like monkeys do. Ran into Allie Kearns, who's out here doing the half pipe, but they're having some problems. Um, what's the deal, Allie? Well, I guess it's raining and it's kind of blowing in the sides. It's not, it's not too heavy, but uh, the wind is bringing it in and it's settling on. The roof is kind of the exact same size as the ramp is square, you know, from above. So they were thinking of hanging things down the side to stop it blowing in. But then I guess no one can see anything. So it's kind of like pointless. So I don't know what the plan is. I think they're going to make the roof bigger overnight and then tomorrow just do it all as a final. Everything's going off out here. So there's an event every weekend and uh, I think European guys and the whole European scene is just going through the roof. I heard you've been coming close to a 900. You think we'll see that tomorrow, maybe? Uh, hopefully, yeah. This is a big enough ramp to try on back home. We, um, our ramp is a lot smaller, so it's not enough time to spin it. So hopefully, I'm going to give it a try here, see if I can make it. Yeah, I'd like to see that. Now, it may have been raining outside, but in the undercover of the old Olympic Hall, things were coming to the boil nicely. Rodney Clark is in the house. Hey, Rodney, how's the street course? Uh, it's the best, best street course there. Yeah, so good. I saw your first and second run. First one was solid. Second run was yeah. good until you uh, I, had a bit of an accident. Yeah. You feeling all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just caught my leg. I was lucky to be taller now. All right. Just... You hear that? Lucky to be taller. <laughs> who do you like today? Like, who is going uh, pretty good? Rodrigo Textera. Uh, any of the Brazilian guys. They're the guys to watch right now. They certainly are. And as the spontaneous session broke out over the driveway, we were treated to some of that Brazilian heel-toe magic. Frontside 360 flip body burial. No way. He didn't even board sponsor. As I strolled from the hotel on finals day, I took time to take in what a beautiful, civilized town Innsbruck is where rabbits run wild. The street final. Oh my word. McCrank, Ed T, gets an embrace of raw Brazilian talent. Brazilians stole the show, and it was fitting that Carlos de Andrade took top honors. Kerry Getz was second, and it was a surprise third for 15-year-old Kyle Berard. And McCrank threw in some super duper triply hard tech stuff for afters. Right, we got that one. Thanks, Rick and Frank. Meanwhile, back at the ramp, the Vert boys were cooking up a storm. Sorry about that, I went, I went a bit hit. Over to the Vert. <laughs> Burnquist was going off like milk that's been left out in the sun for two weeks and stayed on stuff that just didn't look right. Hey, dude. But it was Andy McDonald who pipped him at the post to win the biggest of those big old checks they get for winning. And Yaki, well, he went for the 900. And so did Allie. They looked really close. 
It's just a matter of time.